హరే కృష్ణ టుడే ఇస్ ద డిసప్పీరియన్స్ డే ఆఫ్ గోపాల భట్ట గోస్వామి గోపాల భట్ట గోస్వామి ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద సిక్స్ గోస్వామీస్ షట్ గోస్వామి ఇన్ అవర్ గౌడీయ వైష్ణవ పరంపర గోపాల భట్ట గోస్వామి అపేర్డ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ ఇన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ త్రీ అండ్ వెన్ బ్యాక్ టు గోలోక బృందావన్ ఇన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సెవెంటీ ఎయిట్ గోపాల భట్ట గోస్వామి అపేర్డ్ ఇన్ శ్రీరంగం తమిళనాడు చైతన్య మహాప్రభు ఇన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ టెన్ హీ వెంట్ ఫర్ సౌత్ ఇండియా టూర్ అండ్ హీ వెంట్ టు శ్రీరంగం and he was taking darshan of lord ranganath he was dancing in ecstasy seeing the deity he was glorifying the deity he was singing crying his hair standing on end and to see all these ecstatic symptoms one great devotee in sri vaishnava sampradaya his name was vyankata batta this vyankata batta he got attracted to sri chaitanya mahaprabhu's ecstatic symptoms and he went to sri chaitanya mahaprabhu and he offered dandavat pranam he offered his respectful obeisances to sri chaitanya mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu was very pleased to see venkata batta who was a great devotee in sri vaishnava sampradaya is venkata batta used to worship lakshmi narayana but mahaprabhu still to see that purity and devotion and dedication of venkata batta to lakshmi narayana mahaprabhu was very impressed and venkata batta requested chaitanya mahaprabhu to stay at his home as long as he want venkata batta took sri chaitanya mahaprabhu to his home and he told mahaprabhu to stay as long as he want and mahaprabhu stayed there for four months of chaturmasya in 1510 gopala batta goswami who appeared in 1503 he was by that time seven years old because 1510 mahaprabhu went to his house he was seven years old he saw chaitanya mahaprabhu and he felt uh, ecstasy even at the age of seven the venkat batta he was worshiping lakshmi narayana but chaitanya mahaprabhu he was describing the madhuri ras between radha and krishna and he was also comparing that with uh, lakshmi narayana's aishwarya bhav and venkata batta he was slowly getting attracted towards radha krishna and he felt like venkata batta felt like worshiping radha krishna because of chaitanya mahaprabhu's wonderful descriptions about radha and krishna and when mahaprabhu was preaching venkata batta about the madhuri ras of radha and krishna this gopal batta who was 7 years old he felt ecstatic in his heart he was feeling so much devotion towards radha and krishna and he felt attached to chaitanya mahaprabhu he was feeling some kind of rati attachment to his lord sri chaitanya mahaprabhu even at the age of 7 and he was serving sri chaitanya mahaprabhu he was serving prasad he was massaging mahaprabhu's lotus feet he was such a pure devotee even at the age of 7 he got a desire to see sri chaitanya mahaprabhu before taking sanyas how his form was he was crying in ecstasy when will i see that form when will i see that form mahaprabhu already took sanyas but i heard that mahaprabhu before sanyas he was having so much curly hair white petal lotus eyes he was wearing yellow dhoti and wonderful flower garlands and and his body was anointed with sandalwood paste his all beautiful limbs golden form i want to see the form he was dancing i want to see that dance and mahaprabhu with all his associates i want to see that ecstatic dance in krishna kirtan even at the age of 7 his desire was there in his heart he was always thinking about that and after 4 months mahaprabhu has to leave then gopal batta goswami he, he was just gopal batta by the time he was 7 years old he was not goswami by that time he was just gopal batta so he was crying in separation from sri chaitanya mahaprabhu venkata batta also was crying so just to see gopal batta was crying chaitanya mahaprabhu stayed few more weeks then after that mahaprabhu has to leave for jagannath puri and some other places in south india he did touring in south india and then he went to jagannath puri so gopal batta was crying crying the next day mahaprabhu fulfilled his desire what was his desire gopal batta's desire his desire was to see sri chaitanya mahaprabhu before taking sanyas with that hair curly hair yellow dhoti you know that flower garlands pearl necklaces beautiful earrings that beautiful form he wanted to see after taking sanyas also mahaprabhu is extraordinarily beautiful beautiful than millions of moons even after taking sanyas also but before taking sanyas that form gopal batta wants to see that seven year old boy so mahaprabhu came to his dream in his uh, navadeep form he was mayapur chandra in in gopal batta's dream now 
in his mayapur chandra form beautiful godly hair mahaprabhu was dancing in kirtan and srivasachary was there mukunda datta was singing srivasachary was playing mridanga and kartals advaita chary was playing kartal srivasachary was playing mridanga and nityanand prabhu was dancing mukunda datta was singing and gadadhar pandit was dancing along with sri chaitanya mahaprabhu in this way that wonderful sankirtan Gopal Bhatta saw, Gopal Bhatta felt very ecstatic and Mahaprabhu suddenly he transformed himself into Lord Sri Krishna. He got that bluish form, that curly hair, that same form, Krishna Varnam, Trusha Krishna. And Gopal Bhatta goes to me, when he saw Mahaprabhu's form, he offered his obeisances and again, when he saw Lord Krishna's form, again he fell down to offer obeisances and, and again he, Mahaprabhu showed his Chaitra Mahaprabhu form after taking sannyas. Then Mahaprabhu instructed Gopal Bhatta, that small seven-year-old boy, Mahaprabhu told, stay with your parents, serve your parents, and once they go back to Godhead, you go to Vrindavan, you will meet Ropa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami. In this way, Mahaprabhu gave orders to Gopal Bhatta at the age of seven itself, when Gopal Bhatta was seven years old. Then Mahaprabhu disappeared. Then as per Mahaprabhu's instruction, instructions, Gopal Bhatta, he was serving his parents. And one day, his fortunate parents chanting Krishna's holy names, they left uh, their bodies on an auspicious day. And then Gopal Bhatta, as per Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's instructions, he went to Vrindavan and he met Ropa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami. And Mahaprabhu, he was eagerly waiting for the news of Gopal Bhatta. Then Ropa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami, they wrote a letter to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who was in Jagannath Puri. They wrote a letter. In that letter, they mentioned about Gopala Bhatta. Gopala Bhatta came here and he is staying with, with us here. And he is very dear to all the Vaishnavas, Lokanath Goswami, Bhugarbha Goswami, Madhu Pandita. They are all uh, wonderful Vaishnavas, great devotees. Just by hearing their pastimes, one hates stand on him. That much, you know, uh, wonderful devotees. So, Ropa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami wrote a letter about Gopala Bhatta. And they wrote about Gopala Bhatta's attachment uh, towards uh, Lord Krishna and it, Krishna's lotus feet and Gopal Bhatta, the way he was uh, singing Srimad Bhagavatam. So then Mahaprabhu felt so happy and Mahaprabhu sent his clothes remnants to Gopal Bhatta Goswami and other um, other things of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the things Mahaprabhu used. And to receive those things, Gopal Bhatta Goswami was so ecstatic and everybody told Gopal Bhatta Goswami that you are very fortunate, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu loves you so much, you are very dear to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Gopal Bhatta Goswami felt very ecstatic. Gopal Bhatta Goswami, he, was, he wrote so many books, uh, Shat Sandarbha and he wrote commentaries for Hari Bhakti Vilasa written by Sanatana Goswami and many other books Gopal Bhatta Goswami wrote. After Mahaprabhu disappeared, Mahaprabhu left this uh, world, went back to Golok Vrindavan or eternal Navadip Dham in the spiritual sky. Gopal Bhatta Goswami, he went to Gandaki, Nepal. He's already in Vrindavan. He went to Na- Nepal to see that Gandaki river where the Saligrams uh, manifest, Saligrams comes. So Gopal Bhatta Goswami was taking bath in uh, Gandaki and he was praying to Lord Krishna. 12 saligrams came floating towards Gopal Bhatta Goswami. And Gopal Bhatta Goswami, he felt the blessing of Krishna and he took those 12 saligrams to Vrindavan, back to Vrindavan. After a few days, Gopal Bhatta Goswami felt like he is totally unqualified to worship those saligrams. He felt like, okay, let me go back and put in the same place in that Gandaki river. Then Gopal Bhatta Goswami, again he travelled to that Gandaki from Vrindavan. And he put those uh, 12 saligrams in the Gandaki river. As soon as he put those 12 saligrams, immediately they came back. They jumped into Gopal Bhatta Goswami's hands. And again, slowly, slowly, he he put those saligrams in the Gandaki river. Again, immediately, those 12 saligrams jumping into uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami's palms. In this way, three times, four times this is happening. Those saligrams don't want to stay there. They want to go with Gopal Bhatta Goswami. And Gopal Bhatta Goswami felt very ecstatic. Oh, this is the desire of the Lord, that I desire of Lord Krishna, that I take these saligrams to my home. Then Gopal Bhatta Goswami took all those 12 saligrams to Vrindavan, where he was staying, his bhajan kutir. So he was worshipping those 12 saligrams very nicely. He was massaging with scented oil, all the 12 saligrams. And he was um, decorating the saligrams with tulasi and sandalwood paste. And he was um, offering bhoga. One day, uh, on the day of Narsingh Chaturdesi, Gopal Bhatta Goswami, he heard the pastime of Narsingh Dev. In the pastime, he heard that Narsingh Dev manifested from a pillar. 
then gopal bhatt goswami felt very ecstatic to hear this pastime when he came back there was one very rich man waiting for gopal bhatt goswami he was sitting in gopal bhatt goswami's bhajan kutir he offered obeisances to gopal bhatt goswami when he saw then he gave gopal bhatt goswami nice um, paraphernalia i like like dress to decorate lord krishna small deity like for a small deity he gave like he gave one wonderful small turban decorated with dim- small size diamonds small diamond necklaces and small size dhoti all small small size then gopal bhatt goswami felt very uh, ecstatic but once that uh, rich man he left he started crying seeing those uh, paraphernalia uh, decorative items for lord krishna why gopal bhatt goswami does not have any dt you know, small size even small size dt he got all saligrams only we can decorate saligram also with uh, wonderful uh, the golden crown or this turban and many devotees you might have seen they put eyes to the saligram they put a fl- uh, lips they put nose they put a flute peacock feather we can do but gopal but goswami was not satisfied for with that gopal but goswami felt like if i have a small deity then how fortunate i can worship that small deity with all these small small ornaments then nursing they he came from a pillar means uh, why not uh, i get a deity from the saligram in this way he thought and he slept and next day he found uh, one of the 12 saligrams that saligram name was damodar shila damodar shila became radha raman dev Dhamudra Shila became Radha Raman Dev. Three-fold bending form, white petal, lotus eyes, saligram deity, small deity, thin waist, broad chest, the deity named Radha Ramana. Gopal Bhatt Goswami, he felt very ecstatic and he called all the Vaishnavas, great devotees, Goswamis and he arranged a big feast and there is a big ceremony, a bathing ceremony and they did a big installation ceremony very wonderfully. Uh, so Gopal Bhatt Goswami is such a pure devotee. When Krishnadas Gauraj Goswami who wrote Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, he went to all the Vaishnavas and he was taking blessings from all the Vaishnavas so that he can start Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. that time he went to gopal bhatt goswami also krishna das kavraj goswami he asked for blessings so that he can start sri chaitanya charitamrita then gopal bhatt goswami told i will definitely give you my blessings but in return you have to promise me one thing then what is that you should not mention about me in sri chaitanya charitamrita because sri chaitanya charitamrita means full of wonderful great devotees along with sri chaitanya mahaprabhu but who am i i am such a fallen soul this was the humility of gopal bhatt goswami but don't think that others did not say this thing so they are not humble no they are also humble but uh, then uh, here in chaitanya charitamrita in our in our gaudiya vaishna parampara each devotee uh, got an extraordinary quality uh, that will they will show in up to an extreme level like haridas thakur he chants 3 lakhs names a day ragunath das goswami he was completely uh, a renunciant his renunciation is beyond we cannot imagine and vakreshwar pandit he danced for 72 hours and murari gupta he is unique in his singing and swarup damodar he is such a wonderful music music player he he play on uh, mridanga so nicely and very expertly he plays veena flute whatever musical instrument you give swarup damodar play like anything so each and every devotee got a unique quality we can see in up to an extreme level so like that in gopal bhatt goswami he is hum- so much humble that uh, he told no don't mention my name in sri chaitanya charitamrita because i am not a pure devotee that is the humility that is humbleness one devotee should be humble then only he will attain lord krishna humbler than a blade of grass trinadapi sunichena tarorapi sahishnuna amanena manadena kirtaniya sadahari so finally gopala bhatta goswami he is gunamanjari in spiritual worlds came to assist lord krishna to assist in his past times so gunamanjari came like gopal bhatt goswami to assist sri chaitra mahaprabhu in his past times gopal bhatt goswami ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai hare krishna